Hello Stamper, welcome to Frenchie's video. I'm France Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up at FrenchieStamps.com in the US. Today it's basic tip to use the cork paper. So I done those cards and I'm going to explain the basic here. Start from cutting, uh, die cut and so on. And so let me remove those beauty here. And if you get the cork paper, it's very light paper. It's almost like uh, the thickness of a designer series paper. So, if you want to die cut and so on, I recommend we're going to put a layer in the back. Let's start with how to cut your paper on your uh, cutter. I recommend it facing down. So I'm going to cut a strip of 4 inch. And I'm going to uh, tell you right away, uh, stamping up to us, because the texture of this and the product of this, it's say 12 by 12, but it's approximately 12 by 12, because the temperature can shrink the paper or expand and so on. So it's approximately 12 by 12, you get two sheets. Now we get it cut at four. Now I'm going to go and cut it at five and a half because I'm going to share out to do a frame and so on. We're going to cut it there. Okay, we're going to keep this piece here. Now we're going to use our tumble glue. So if you want to put it just on the background of a card like this one, then you can go ahead and glue it on your layer. No problem. You don't need extra layers because it's flat okay this here it's if you want to raise it up so if you want to add it like this one just the background go ahead glue it I recommend Tombow glue now um, it's funny because just last week somebody asked me do you use the fat tip this is the perfect example when I'm going to use the fat tip because I want to put glue all in the back of this we will cut it with um, a flower we're going to do a frame and so on so I want everything to be glue because I'm going to raise it up I want something more solid I'm going to use the fat tip here oops here we go and just go ahead and apply that all around because you don't know where it's going to cut and you don't want it to raise the corner and so on okay now we got the glue there I got a piece of Ebby Whisper White cardstock that measure four by five and a half, the same than this. You're gonna ask why four, not four and a quarter, like a quarter sheet? It's because if you cut in strip of four, then you're gonna have two, three strip. Now I'm just gonna place that there. Now turn it in the back, so you're gonna go where the cardstock is and really press that to bond that glue and I would wait a little bit before I cut it but we're going to go ahead and speed up the process we're going to try right away it's just you want it really to have a good bond you can also use your bone folder okay even if you get a little bit like this that's no biggie now we're going to use the stitch rectangle um, framelits and I'm going to be honest with you the stitch is the hardest one to cut with the cork okay so if you got a frame that you don't have the stitch that's going to be easier but the stitch it's possible we're going to go with the biggest one first let me bring the machine Here we go. I want to make sure I'm in the view here. I think you can see. So now you're going to, and I want it tilted sideways a little bit. When you get a rectangle or a big um, die cut, you want to engage it with a point. So then you want to less bumps and it work much better. So let me go ahead. We're going to put that right here. Now we're going to put our clear plate at the top and I'm going to roll it, oops, I see I'm off, here we go. We're going to roll it back and forth because of the stitches, okay, the stitch. So I'm going to roll it here 
and then I'm going to come back. And I am not doing both frame at the same time on the cord, on uh, like designer sear paper or on um, on cardstock. A lot of the time when I do a frame, I'm going to put both pieces at the same time on the cord because like I said, it's the most difficult with the stitch. Now we're going to remove this. You're going to say, well, it didn't cut. It did. You just have to peel it up. Here we go. If some place didn't um, cut all the way, then go ahead and use your scissors. But if you go back and forth, it should. This here, believe it or not, I'm going to keep this sometimes just to add a little accent on the card. That's going to be perfect. Just a little embellishment. Now we're going to use number three. So we're going to, we skip one in between, okay? So we're going to skip one. Uh, the one that, uh, this one here, that is the back of this one. So I won't cut that today, but then you know which one I use there for th that frame. So it's, for the frame, it's one and three. So let's remove, oops, I get two there. One and three. Now you're going to take this again. You're going to go diagonal. So I try to align that the way that I want it. Et voila. Now we're going to put our plate. And you see, again, it's diagonal. You don't want nothing straight. It make it, it don't engage good and it don't cut as good. So you're going to roll one. And then roll back. Now we're going to remove this. And again, you see it looked like it didn't cut. Just fold it. Maybe here I'm going to have to use my scissors. Mm, it shouldn't. It looked like it's going. On um, like cardstock and so on, this don't happen. It's just on cork. It's very a different um, product. Okay, now let's bring the scissors. Like I said, sometimes this gonna happen, and I'm glad it happened. So I'm just gonna go and snip right in the middle of those stitch there. There. And then right here. And if you get a little piece of white, do I, oh, like right here. Go from the back here and just cut and cut. So I'm glad this happened because when I roll it just one, it was, uh, I had to work it quite a bit. So now we get those two pieces. So I thought, okay, this is going to be my frame. And I mount my frame with foam strips. So it's kind of thick. So if you want to mail it, this is going to cost extra to mail. So you can put it with dimensional. It's lower, but my flower is with dimensional and I want it lower, you know. But this one, I'm going to do another card, something else. And I'm going to try it with dimensional. So with dimensional, you want to at least put like every corner, center, and maybe here. So it don't cave in. Okay. Now I was like, well, this is going to be perfect for a card. So I thought, well, I can use it like this, just a background. And I said, hmm, let me do something different. So here is a fun trick. So I'm using... The die from I absolutely love this set. I got a class in the mail, Nature Harvest, and this is the silhouette die in there. We're gonna put that right here. I'm gonna put that sideways a little bit here. Now you don't want to cut to the bottom, right? Because that's gonna defeat the purpose. So let's bring our plate. And this one you have to go straight because I want it straight where I'm going to finish my flower. Well, it can be sideways a bit. Now you see, I'm going to stop cutting right here where I stop my plate. So I feed my plate in first. Hold it on the side till it engage all plate. Now you can let go. Roll. And 
roll again back. You have to hold your plate till it engages, okay? So now we get this. Now we are done with the cutting machine. So let's remove this. And then I can peel this up. And again, if you get a place that didn't cut all the way, use your snip. This one back and forth was perfect. Now you're going to cut the bottom. Don't fuss too much, worry about the bottom, because see, it's a reason why I put a greeting there. So I took this and just go sideways here and cut. Voila! That is it. So you can use any color in the back. Let's see. <clears throat> I'm grabbing a piece of black here. I think black would look lovely. I think that's what I'm going to do with this one. And then for our frame, I decide to add this in the front of my frame. I could have done a third card, but I'm like, mm, this call it. And voila. So now this one, I could even just keep it this way and have a big uh, something embossed in gold there. That would be pretty. I think that's what I'm going to do. See? This is where I put the flower. So this is the basic uh, tips for um, using the cork paper. Again, the liquid glue, I would say it's a, the best glue to glue this. And also, um, if you want to raise it up like this, if you want to raise it up, I strongly recommend to use the heavy cardstock in the back so it can be a color or the thick vanilla or thick basic white this is it my friend i will have um those three cards here on my blog with all the details and down the road i'm going to share these one that are not finished here so stay tuned for the next one thank you so much for watching and again the direct link is below if you like what you see give me the thumbs up thank you so much bye bye for now